just be awake at night. Yeah? Mm. That's the, the time when most blessing coming. Yes. And if you are more awake, that means your soul is still here, you know, not gone away. And it receives blessing into the soul. Understand? If the soul is elsewhere, then maybe in other world or or just uh, <laughs> just not aware, then uh, the blessing is less. Huh? Yeah, because when you sleep, the soul goes out. Huh? Yeah. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Amigables saludos, encantadores televidentes. Mi nombre es Amarel, desde Puno, en el histórico Perú. Para muchas personas, Perú es como una belleza latina mística. Es la tierra de los Incas, donde los paisajes de las terrazas y el cielo de la ciudad de Machu Picchu continúan impresionando a los visitantes modernos. El idioma Inca, Quechua, vive hoy como un idioma cooficial. Es una tierra de civilizaciones antiguas, donde los secretos de las líneas de Nazca, designadas como Patrimonio de la Humanidad por la Organización de las Naciones Unidas para la Educación, la Ciencia y la Cultura, UNESCO. Siguen aún sin ser revelados. También es una economía exitosa, con alto desarrollo humano, que se destaca entre los países de América Latina. resplandecientes, altamente diversificados hábitats naturales, Perú fomenta una tradición popular apasionada y afable, y a muchos escritores destacados. Representados por el ganador del Premio Nobel de Literatura en el 2010, Mario Vargas Llosa. placer compartir con ustedes el fascinante Perú. Les deseamos dulces y armoniosos días venideros. Durante más de tres décadas, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai ha iluminado nuestro mundo con sus enseñanzas divinas. Una Maestra totalmente iluminada, imparte el método Quan Yin de meditación a aquellos que desean descubrir inmediatamente la naturaleza de Dios interna y alcanzar en una vida la liberación eterna del ciclo de la transmigración. El método Quan Yin ha sido practicado 
por todos los maestros iluminados tales como Buda, Jesucristo, el profeta Mahoma, la paz sea con él, y Guru Nanak, y muchos más. Ella enfatiza que si siempre recordamos a Dios, ofrecemos servicio desinteresado a otros y seguimos las leyes del universo, alcanzaremos nuestro potencial más elevado como humanos y comprenderemos verdaderamente nuestro propósito en la Tierra. La maestra Suprema Ching Hai es un extraordinario ejemplo viviente de compasión, enviando frecuentemente asistencia material y financiera, además de amor, a los refugiados, a los desamparados, a las víctimas de desastres naturales y a otros que necesitan ayuda. En el 2006, ella recibió el premio Gusi de la Paz, considerado el Premio Nobel de la Paz de Oriente. Ha sido honrada a través de los años con otros numerosos premios y galardones por sus extraordinarias obras filantrópicas y humanitarias. Una verdadera voz para nuestros preciosos amigos animales. Ella promueve la pacífica y amorosa dieta a base de plantas y prevé con el despertar de la humanidad hacia lo sagrado de todas las vidas un tranquilo y glorioso mundo completamente vegano donde los animales y las personas vivan en dichosa armonía. Sus iniciativas para difundir la tendencia vegana son diversas y han incluido la distribución del volante de vida alternativa, la cadena internacional de restaurantes veganos Loving Hat, Supreme Master Television, además de hablar regularmente con influyentes líderes de gobierno, medios de comunicación, participar en conferencias televisadas sobre el cambio climático, tanto si somos conscientes de ello como si no. Sus esfuerzos han tenido una enorme influencia sobre la conciencia mundial del estilo de vida, amigable con los animales y de cómo esta benévola forma de ser puede traer paz duradera entre las naciones, a la vez que salvamos nuestro planeta del cambio climático. A lo largo de los años, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai ha viajado por todo el mundo, desde las Américas hasta África, desde Europa hasta Oceanía, y ha ofrecido cientos de discursos al público y a sus discípulos sobre una variedad de temas espirituales. Hoy somos bendecidos con la presentación de una de estas reveladoras conferencias, titulada Salvando el Mundo Juntos. Historias de Amor Exitosas, parte 4 de 6, en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos, dada en inglés el 29 de marzo del 2012, en Francia. Ok, ¿alguien más inglés speaking before we turn into other languages? Yes. ¿Some good news? Yeah, tell me, love. Michael. <laughs> Table number five. <laughs> Tell me. Oh, Master, I just want to thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to serve um, humankind because it seems to me like every two years I move to a different um, place. Uh -huh. And actually this year, last year, it was last year that I got a job um, working in the government hospital. It's yeah. called VA, Veteran Hospital. Mm. And um, throughout the times that I'm here, um, you know, seeing patients, every single patient come in to my clinic. I always tell them, well, you have to, if you want to live a better life without suffering, the best way is, you know, cut down the meat because, you know, veterans, they're fed with like beef and all those Mm. those things. Mm. So um, I always tell them you have to, you know, cut down the meat mm. and eat more fruit and vegetable. And many of them came back and said, you know what, after I listened to what you said, and I recommend Neil Bernard uh, books to mm. them, Reversing Diabetes, and they read, and then they, they, they changed, changed that diet. 
And they went back to their PCP. Their PCP said, "Wow, what's going on? With their blood, oh, sugar, blood sugar, yeah, gone down has been yeah. high. You know, it's mm-hmm. like three, four hundred. <laughs> now it's back to one twenty. <laughs> and their PCP asked them, you know, why? They what said, did you "Well, do? I went to a foot doctor, and mm. she recommended me to, <laughs> you know, <laughs> be to, vegan. Exactly." Yeah. So there has been a lot of changes in terms of you know um, the 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 people at the yeah um, you should move more often not just every two years a new place but <laughs> every two weeks or something <laughs> saving all the patients. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they are very happy, and also the smoking, um, you know, because of the stress that they have to deal with mm. um, post-traumatic um, after war. They mm. have all these uh, very um, bad experience. Mm. Um, they tend to smoke a lot, and mm. I talk to them. You know, I sort of like scare them. Yeah. And so the more they, stress, the more smokes, the more smoke, exactly, the more stress. Exactly. Oh. And I said, well, if you don't, you know, you know, regardless. I make money from you anyway. Each toes, it means some money. So I said, I said uh, to them, I sort of scare them. Mm. And so many of them came back, said, mm. you know what? I stopped smoking cold turkey, mm-hmm. and I feel, you know, uh, for the first time, I could breathe the fresh air. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of positive, yeah, good you know, girl. at the VA. So good I just dog. want to share with you. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. <laughs> Thank you. Bravo. Good, good. You see, we can save the world in different corner, you know, in different profession. It doesn't have to always be uh, loving hurt if you can't afford it or if you don't know how, you know. Often a love, even a small cafe, you know, like uh, two people in Belgium. Mm. It's small, but they have all kind of menu. I wonder how they do it. Only two girls. <laughs> all kind of food, you yeah? know, and fast, you yeah? mm. Or just a um, flea market caravan with, uh, you know, simple food. Even people just sell hot dogs, you know. Uh, so why not uh, vegan hot dogs, you know? And by the way, give the leaflets, you know, and Supreme Master TV and stuff. Yeah. It's very easy to make money, really, you know, if you, know, if you want to work hard. If you put your heart in it. It doesn't have to go jumping into a big restaurant. It's a big risk. And stressful, stressful. Mm. Do slow is always better. But it's okay, stay there, you're there already, don't move anymore. It's more trouble. Anyone else? English? Yeah. Hi, Master. Hi. And um, I, I've got a, a question here. In uh, your uh, phone conference in the new year, you mentioned and encouraged us to uh, do deep meditation. And yeah. um, how to achieve deep meditation? How? You don't know how to meditate? The deep meditation. Deep meditation, oh, that takes <laughs> dedication. <laughs> well, you just have to do it. Well, I mean, deep means really sincerely devoted to it, okay? Not to say, okay, master, two and a half hour, bye-bye. <laughs> Understand? Deep means longer as possible. Yeah, and more concentration, more into the motive, you know? Focus into peace and love on the planet. Huh? Okay. That's Thank what you, I, Master. Yeah, you're welcome. Deep mean, okay, as much as you can, concentrate. Yes? Not just counting the, the hour on the clock, eh? All right. Yes, today, today time passed slower than yesterday. Yesterday seemed very fast. <laughs> Any more English speaking? Yeah, here. Hello, Master. Hello. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Um, we have some good news from England. Mm-hmm. We had a very big uh, climate conference in yes. London called Pressure on the Planet, and they served vegetarian food for all the delegates. Oh, yes. really? It Who was organized really, it? It was several organizations together also. Yeah, I can't remember all the organizations. Ah, did you but, guys yeah. support them, help? I didn't go. I I, I uh, discovered it too late. Actually, it, oh, uh, so I we didn't. It. We didn't participate. No, we didn't participate. Oh. I discovered it. No, yeah, I didn't know at all. And so that was more more a surprise. We we were not even involved <laughs> in vegetarian. Okay, good. Yeah. Good news. You didn't do anything about it. <laughs> 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 yeah, good news, but. 
It's in the air. <laughs> no, no, no part in it. Okay, fine. Next time, try to be more alert. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I love you. English, okay? Yes. yes. I don't know if it's my turn to speak to you, but uh, I have to tell you that there is a, a cable TV. What's that? SMTV cable TV yes. in Korea that uh -huh. has happened. So we are doing a lot of things. Oh, yeah? To, yes, and then to, to make uh, uh, video, DVD tapes mm -hmm. only presented in Korean uh, oh, language. Okay. Okay. And then a lot of cable companies are wanting that. Ah. So it seems that we are going to broadcast uh, soon. Oh, really? And, uh, yes, every, all in Korea? every SMT, yes, all in Korea. And then sometime later, maybe those DVDs will be gone to the Mongolia. Mm -hmm. And so. That's a good thing, I think, and I thought ah, that I have good. to tell you. Very good. Thank yes. you so much, Master. Yeah, thank you. Okay, good. Any more? Good news in Mandarin. Good news. Why Mandarin? You speak English. <laughs> <laughs> there are some things I don't know how to say in English. Then that thing you don't say in English. Something <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, the, the Formosan government, they encourage to, to cut down the carbon and... Uh, cut the carbon dioxide? Yeah, and also to use the, to change the diet to, to cut the carbon. Oh. Yeah, so they, they start from the education. Wonderful. So the government newspaper, mm. they broadcast uh, last year, the end of last year, mm. and they say the education department, they, they calculate there are about... In Formosa, there are 3,530 3, elementary schools and high schools. Mm. And 93% uh, of them are, are how to say, participating in the, the one-day veg. Mm. How to say? Yeah. yeah every event, week, one-day yeah. veg, yes. And uh, there are 11 counties and the cities, they, all the schools, they're they doing that. Do that already. Yeah, and yes. there are 17 schools, they, they take two days every ah, week. Ah, wow. Yeah, and uh, also the Environmental Protecting Department in Formosa, yes. the, the whole department, all the, the workers there, they, they take vegetarian diet. Now. Once a week? Uh, or, or, oh, yeah, once a week, I'm oh, sorry, okay. one day a week. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it? Yeah. Mm, good <laughs> Thank news. you, Master. Good news. Mm. So once a week they can become Buddha or something like that? <laughs> I think that's just a start, you know. Okay. Baby step. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks to your government and like the vice president, the former vice president Liu, she's working very hard. Yeah. And many other organizations working hard for that. Yeah. You know, it's just a small island. If the whole island just turned vegetarian, what's yeah. wrong? So we easy. Should, you know, we should. And Taiwan has so much food. Yes. You know, vegan food in Taiwan is easy to find, easy to make. And yeah. people should be able to turn into vegan easily in Taiwan. I mean, like in Western country, maybe difficult for them, you know, but Taiwan, they grow up. They're born with tofu in their mouth. And <laughs> they grow up with, with tofu hanging all over them. So I don't know why it's so difficult for the government. You know, they have tofu, they have uh, like gluten stuff, minching, yeah? Yeah. Even to tofu and yeah. gang tofu, <laughs> wet tofu, yes, soft tofu, yeah. hard tofu, yeah. 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 Dry tofu, you know. And, Neo tofu. And dohua in the sweet dohua way. tofu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, it's so easy, you know? Yeah. In Taiwan, they make a lot of food out of everything, you know? So easy to, to, to be a vegan in Taiwan. Right. Oh, but it's very good already that they're doing something. Okay, my God. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you for your blessing. Oh, it's okay. You're doing well. And Taiwanese disciples. Hey, good. Yes. You know, like yesterday who say that somebody cannot go here, cannot come here because need two weeks for visa? Which country? Indonesia, I think. Indonesia, huh? Right? Yeah. yeah. Ah, look at that. Indonesia, huh? Bigger than your country, huh? And many thousands of islands even, huh? Big country and international famous, huh? Jakarta and... All that stuff, and still need two, two weeks to get visa. And you, Taiwan, it's a free visa for three months. Yes. Come and go in Thai, in, from Taiwan to here, like 
supermarket. All the disciples really believe that's because of your blessing and grace. And then go to in England six months. Yes. Oh, I couldn't even dream about it myself, you know. <laughs> ah, surprise. Yeah. See that? Many countries still have problem with visa. You guys, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you there before. Yeah, I've been there a long time, eh? Yeah, yeah. you, you, you long time. Right? Long, long time. Yes, yes. Mm. You, but also many of you sincerely practice, okay? It changed everything. Mm. Now I need to be here. I don't know how long, I mean, in Europe. I take, take turn, you know? <laughs> yes, I wish I could be everywhere, yes. I mean, physically. It's difficult, eh? Okay, so... Right, so now you come here, be a guest for a change. <laughs> now you know what it feels like for all the country come to Taiwan before. <laughs> yes, here you could even have a hot shower hmm? and decent toilet. Uh, people come from other country to Taiwan before, outside toilet, <laughs> no running cold water even, yeah? Intense, yeah? So you know, they're very sincere the Westerner and other country. That's why I wanted them to sit in the front, okay, for now, all right? Yes. Because for, for Taiwan or Chinese, Vietnamese, we're more used to with a uh, casual lifestyle, you know, or easy lifestyle or more hardship, yeah? The Westerner, they have not seen that for a long time. Their legs are longer. If they, <laughs> if they sit too long, it's, you know, it's aching and all that. And uh, they haven't a chance to see me as much as Taiwanese people. Hmm? So give them a little privilege. Okay, guys? Yes. yes. You see anybody with a different color than yours, or different eyes than yours, and you drag them to the front. <laughs> it doesn't have to be Western only, you know, like the Queen of uh, America <laughs> and the Queen of Arabia over there, you know, and the Princess of uh, Turkey, okay, for example. Uh, you know what the meanings of uh, Daingong? Uh, country in the King and Co. I mean, big mouth. <laughs> Talk a lot. <laughs> you know, and there is a, the, the ambassador that been dragged out into jail and, and bang boom. Uh, he is a representative ambassador of Nước Tương. Mm. You know what Nước Tương is? Nước is country, okay? Tung means uh, soya sauce. <laughs> Actually, nuk is mean water or liquid. Yes, and uh, like uh, nuk Vietnam means Vietnamese country. Understand? But in Vietnam, we call uh, soya sauce nuk tung means soya sauce. <laughs> so it's uh, nuk is also mean country. Nuk also mean water. Yeah. A liquid. So nước tương means soy sauce. Yeah, soy is a liquid. <laughs> so the guy was ambassador of nước tương. Understand? <laughs> soy sauce of soy sauce country. Hey, just a lot of playing with war there, huh? And some they have also misspelled it, but it's okay. A lot of things. If you understand Vietnamese, you would laugh even more. Yes. Mm. I don't know why I told you this. <laughs> Ah. Huh? Western. 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 Okay, okay. Yes, all right. Yeah. You didn't recognize him? <laughs> no? Yes, we can. You, I know, you know it, but, but uh, you didn't suspect, huh? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> so easy and didn't suspect, huh? <laughs> because he was all lipstick and hair. <laughs> Boo boo, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, any more English speaking? Yeah, Master, can I ask a question sure. about spiritual practicing? Can you teach us how to keep ourselves awake and listen to the sound all the way when we are doing sound meditation? How because you sometimes I fall asleep, sometimes I just don't know where, where understand, I am. Yeah, understand. I cannot be always, especially doing the long, long hours. Oh, I understand. Sound right, meditation. Just, if you wake up again, you wake up. If you don't, you don't want to do. <laughs> is there any way or any... You have long hair? 
Yes. <laughs> and she, oh, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I just asked if you have no hair. Don't blame me for anything. Okay. Um, just have uh, some water next to you. Mm -hmm. And if you feel before you, you fall asleep, maybe just try to get a towel and dab your face with it or stand up, walk around a little bit if you can. If not, just, okay, try your best, all right? The thing is, the more you stay awake, the more spiritual point you have. Even just stay awake and think about meditation. <laughs> think that I want to meditate. And you think all over the country, but still, <laughs> still you are awake and meditate, you know, in, in, your, in, your, in your heart, you want to. That's also earn you a lot of merit. Surprise? Yes. Yeah, it's like that. Just be awake at night. Yeah? Mm. That's the, the time when most blessing coming, yes. And if you are more awake, that means your soul is still here, you know, not gone away. And it receives blessing into the soul, understand? If the soul is elsewhere, then maybe in other world or, or just, uh, <laughs> just not aware, then uh, the blessing is less. Huh? Yeah. Because when you sleep, the soul goes out. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Master. Master, I have a, a question about the meditation hours. Uh, first of all, um, I'd like to tell you your patience and then love, because... Um, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> what next? <laughs> okay. I, I was one of the editors in SMTV right. during the four years. Yeah, yeah. And then... I felt inside, I, I have uh, so much uh, kind of a confliction with the Yang and Yin. And then I, I know you, you were also somehow influenced by my mind uh, status. Uh -huh. And then I felt uh, sometimes, uh, I think it's probably because of the karma, mm -hmm. which I connected to the many people and then probably, yes, yeah, so because of uh, Maybe word karma also matters. So I, I'd like to tell you, apologize, so I disturb you inside <laughs> somehow. <sighs> Talking about that. I don't want to remember, okay? Never mind. Apl apologize, accept it too late, okay? Yes. Yeah, so after uh, I worked there. After right you worked there? Yeah. Um, we are trying to meditate uh, really intensively. Mm -hmm. So I'm really uh, appreciative for the, this chance, for your advice, mm. for us to meditate like this. And then still somehow there's kind of a yeah, confliction in my mind. So like yin and yang, mm. like, like the crazy games. Yeah, if yeah. not, you wouldn't be sitting here and talking like that. Huh? Yeah. If you don't struggle, then you would have been somewhere else. Never mind. Yes, continue, so, do your best. So yeah. what's your question? So my main question is, uh, would you please uh, tell advice to finish that kind of uh, lower letter mind games? And that mm -hmm. is one first question. And that the second question is, uh, we have uh, world meditation hours. Mm -hmm. And then uh, right now I am in the US, but uh, three hours of world meditation hours is uh, in night time. Mm. So many times we just uh, fell asleep mm -hmm. and then we try to meditate but we forgot the meditation hour. Mm, I understand. Yeah. And then, but... You can request for more meditation hour if yeah. you want. But, you uh, need more. Uh, my question is, uh, when you told us the daytimes, the high point meditation uh -huh. hours, uh -huh. and the night times meditation, 10 to 3, 10 to 4, mm. the day, Mm. Time is the best, but uh, regarding to the points, the nighttime world meditation hour is uh, greater, so we rather... Uh, no, no, it's not greater, but it's just nighttime is the only time that you should stay awake. Daytime you awake anyway, Yeah. and you don't have much time to meditate in the daytime. Understand? Okay, I didn't say which one is better, it's just the, the 10 to 4 is a good time to meditate. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Just most people don't have time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So at night, if you stay awake, it's good for you. Okay? Yes. Yeah. All right. Because at night, if you sleep, then you lost. That's all. Okay? Mm -hmm. But you try to meditate before you sleep. Then even during your sleep, also it's a meditative working. Okay? Do your best what to do. You can request more meditation time in daytime if you want. Yeah. yeah? Okay? Or work, uh, meditate daytime, work nighttime, whatever suits you. Hmm? Yeah. Right. Any Master, more? it is the, about the first question, about ah, the okay. finishing, finishing. The, the foolish mind game. Oh, no, that's difficult. <laughs> that's difficult. Okay. That's uh, related with the... Uh, Whenever That's you, karma. yeah, whenever you 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 feel that your mind is wandering, just pull it back, recite the holy names, and start again. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. What else to do? I can't cut your mind off your body because you need it. Yeah. See, only you can control it. Or uh, maybe, like I said yesterday, drink a little calming tea or something, mm -hmm. and then do some exercise before you meditate. Because if you work in the office all day long already, and then you sit, you know, it's, it's not that uh, interesting, okay? You do some exercise, take a walk or some fresh air, you know, take a shower and drink a little uh, tea, you know, calm tea, and then go meditate. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> and, yeah I'm, I really enjoy this kind of atmosphere. I always watch it through screen only. You mean here? Yeah, but this uh, real gathering is like... Uh, much more relaxed and then... Yeah? Yeah. Somehow, it's very different and then... I, I just a little bit worried because I couldn't have any chance to join the, the retreat. The group, uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you but so much for this opportunity, you're here. Master. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. It's um, now that tell them that it's not rush hour, so if you want to meditate more, just request it, okay? Actually, some of us... Uh, are not there and then just we meditate as you advised us we are meditating somewhere else right now uh -huh. so also that uh, great opportunity thank you so much you're welcome yeah. Amigables televidentes, apreciamos su compañía en el episodio de hoy, titulado Salvando el Mundo Juntos, Historias de Amores Citosas, parte 4 de 6, en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos. A continuación sigue, serie de varias partes sobre las predicciones antiguas acerca de nuestro planeta. Profecía de la Era Dorada, parte 9, La Profecía de Nostradamus. Después de noticias de interés, por favor, sigan sintonizados en Supreme Master Television para una programación más positiva. Que cada día los acerque más al amor puro y sagrado. May each day bring you closer to the pure and holy love. For more details, please visit suprematstv.com forward slash bmd.